The report identified black identity extremists as a threat to law enforcement. Critics say the report is eerily similar to the FBI's 20th century counterintelligence program. COINTELPRO was an FBI operation established in the 50s by J. Edgar Hoover to target African Americans who were fighting for justice and equality. He targeted Dr. King, he targeted Malcolm X, and over 80% of the targets of COINTELPRO were members of the Black Panther Party. At the height of COINTELPRO, activists and community organizers were targeted. These include current Congressional Black Caucus members like John Lewis, Bobby Rush, Emanuel Cleaver, and Barbara Lee. The church committee in the mid-70s held hearings and determined that many of the actions and activities of COINTELPRO were really unconstitutional. What you describe is a series of illegal actions intended squarely to deny First Amendment rights to some Americans. How shall we ensure that it never happened again? One of the similarities that I see are that it's based on race. You know, COINTELPRO definitely targeted African Americans. Black identity extremists, which Attorney General Jeff Sessions has put out, targets African Americans. When it was brought to our attention, we immediately contacted uh, the FBI director and had a very forthright meeting. I specifically asked him, how do they identify black identity extremists? Who are they? And there was no answer to that. We still don't know who's a black identity extremist. A lot of activists around the country are very concerned that we're getting ready to repeat a very uh, sad chapter of our history, where people who are rightfully protesting what they consider to be an injustice in their community, which is their uh, relationship uh, with police officers, are now being targeted and labeled as extremists and are going through periods of surveillance and harassment. As a community worker, I attended many uh, Black Panther Party functions. I was part of the breakfast program. We registered uh, many people, the African American community and others to vote. Well, the FBI during COINTELPRO would try to turn members of the Black Panther Party against each other. Agent provocateurs were placed within the party to try to sow dissent. I was the coordinator of the Illinois chapter of the Black Panther Party. In the summer of 1969, Fred Hampton and Mark Clark, two members of the Black Panther Party, were murdered. And they put an informant William O'Neill planted him inside the Panther Party. We can mourn today, but if we understood, Fred, that we are dedicated that his life wasn't given in vain. The National Director of the FBI said that the Black Panther Party was the number one threat to national security of this nation. And then creating the condition for law enforcement agents all across the state to go after Pat. That program that they did, in some sense, we ought to be thankful for. Because that put in writing for everybody to see, we're still in the eyes of so many, nothing but a bunch of Was I surprised? No. I fully expected it to happen. Now the question is, how do we deal with it? People need to get to their members of Congress and get them a copy of this report and hold their members of Congress accountable. In this day and time, they could really stop and halt the progressive movements that are taking place in the country. And I think with Black Lives Matter, with the Dreamers, with all of our millennials and what they're doing, they deserve to, to be out there and to protest and to engage in petitioning their government to right the wrongs of the past. Those of us who've been around, who saw COINTELPRO, really know the risks and the dangers. And so I hope that people really believe us that this happened, because this is COINTELPRO 2.0.